welcome back students this is the third part of lesson 1 videos that i've made and uh, we have covered uh, the following to topics up till now we have uh, covered introduction that is uh, what is the age of the moon and uh, how is the moon formed and we've also had a discussion on the surface of the moon and uh, now we are proceeding on to some other topics let's see what are they these topics are on pages 124 and 125 it's a reminder lesson one is com um, is comprised of the topics which are on pages 124 and 125 with the exception of phases of the moon phases of the moon is um, going to be in lesson two that has been prepared by miss Farheen. So let's see. Okay, in this part of the video, we will learn about atmosphere on the moon. We will also see um, if there is gravity on the moon. A lot of you must be claiming there is no gravity on the moon. Well, we will find that out very soon if you're right or wrong. Okay, um, then we are going to learn about the other conditions on the moon. So, are you ready? Let's start then. Okay, what do I see over here? Um, yes, the astronaut threw something in the upwards direction and it came down in about four seconds, right? Okay, so what is this place? This is the moon. Children, this is the moon. So looking at this, one has this question in their mind and that question is why did this piece of rock come back down why did this piece of rock come down shouldn't it be floating if there is no gravity okay one more question how come the astronaut is standing on the moon shouldn't he be floating just like that rock and uh, like you know keep on floating why why isn't it happening why did the rock come back down why is the astronaut standing on the moon very simple this proves that there is gravity on the moon yes so those of you who thought that there is no gravity on the moon um, see here's the proof there is gravity on the moon and the gravity over here is weaker as compared with the earth the earth's gravity is six times stronger as compared with the moon so if you are to you know uh, write it you would write that the moon is having one sixth gravity of that of the earth it is six times lesser than the gravity of the earth so on the moon a person would feel six times lighter because the gravity is six times weaker and similarly if you were to jump on the moon would you be able to jump six times higher what do you think the gravity is six times weaker so i think we should be able to jump six times higher let's see what we have next okay so what do we have over here Hmm. See, I want you to observe when this person is jumping, how much distance is he able to cover? Like what is the height, the maximum height that he is rising up to? Okay, so when you jump on earth, you can reach up to 0.45 meters. All right, so this is how... Uh, high you can jump on earth which is also equal to 1.5 feet and this whole jump just lasts for a second that is one second so just remember 0.45 meters high is uh, for 0.45 meters is the distance the height that you can cover if you're jumping on earth let's see what would happen on the moon okay observe oh wow isn't that a really 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 high jump I'd love to do that on the moon okay so using the same force if you're using the same force that you were using to jump on earth 
this is how high you would jump on moon remember 0.45 meters was the height that you would cover on earth now i want you to multiply 0.45 by 6 okay why by 6 teacher that is what you're asking well by 6 because the earth's gravity is six times stronger and the moon's gravity is six times weaker so we will be able to jump six times higher on the moon right we will be able to jump six times higher on the moon so 0.45 meters multiplied by six is 2.7 meters which is approx how much okay what do i see over here well not only me you can also see that there is a hummingbird over there right there's this squirrel hmm so are these images from the moon i doubt that because there is no atmosphere on the moon no atmosphere means no air no air means no oxygen so can living things survive without oxygen definitely not so yes there is no life on earth so if you were to visit on the moon um yes you won't be able to see any life over there no plants no animals no life not even the microbes the uh, tiny living things right microorganisms okay so what do we have over here hmm see there is this astronaut who is okay so there is no atmosphere on the moon which means that there is no life on the moon no plants and animals okay there is no wind to move the dust on the surface of the moon correct okay look at the third point uh, we haven't covered that so we'll come over to that in the end look at the fourth point sound waves are not able to travel on moon right you know the reason there is no medium over there okay moving back to the third point it says sunlight does not get scattered on the moon what does this mean okay we all know that uh, there are gases in the atmosphere right the atoms and molecules when the light sunlight falls on them it is scattered right and because of that some um, you know um, colors are created like you can see the blue colored sky right there's pink hue in the evening so all of that is uh, created because the light gets scattered but if you were to visit the moon and if you were to observe it what would you see you would see a completely dark sky even when it is daytime on the moon that is when the sun is uh, the sunlight is falling on the moon right it will still look dark and the stars are even visible during the daytime over there okay one more question what about the temperature on the moon Remember, we learned in chapter number 11, that is, um, uh, you know, um, air and water support life, right? We learned about the layers of atmosphere and we also learned that, uh, you know, this atmosphere, it uh, maintains the balance between uh, the temperatures that are during the day and the temperatures which are during the night. So it maintains a balance. It isn't like that it is extremely hot in the morning and extremely cold at night. No, there is a balance, right? So, but if we talk about the moon, we don't have atmosphere over there. So it is really, really hot in the morning over there, right? That is in uh, daytime on the moon. And nighttime on moon is extremely cold. See, the temperatures that could reach uh, during the nighttime are minus 173 degrees Celsius. Wow, it's really, really cold. And in the morning, 100 degrees Celsius, that's a lot. Okay, I hope you're all clear with this um, uh, topic, that is the atmosphere of the uh, moon. Ready, uh, ready to learn about the next? Yes, let's see. Okay, rotation of the moon. There are two kinds of movements, uh, the rotation and the revolution. You've learned about revolution uh, in the first or uh, first or second uh, part of this uh, lesson and uh, revolution is what revolution is the movement of moon around the earth right the movement of moon around the earth now look over here this movement is just 
a movement of the moon on its axis on an imaginary line there is an imaginary line that you can't see which is passing through the moon and this imaginary line is called the axis so the moon is moving on its axis this movement is called rotation what do you call it you, you call it rotation so this rotation of the moon is what causes day and night time on the moon it is the same rotation uh, that causes day and night on earth too uh, the earth is also moving on its axis so that is how we have day and night the earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation how many hours 24 hours whereas if we were to talk about the moon it takes a very long time let's see how long. the moon turns really really slow slowly on its axis and it takes 29.5 days to complete one rotation can you imagine so this is how I can explain. See, if you and I were to spend one day on moon, that is one moon day, right? If we were to go on the moon and spend one day on moon, when we will come back from the moon, it would be like uh, how much time we would have spent? Like um, if we cut the distance between, you know, coming back to earth, let's suppose we are on the moon, we've spent one day and if we were to, uh, convert it according to the days on earth it will be one month 29.5 days so you would have spent 29.5 days on moon thinking it is one day one day but it won't be a day like it would be one moon day yes but how much how much time would have been spent on earth 29.5 days so we can say that the revolution of the moon remember the movement of the moon around the earth and the rotation of the moon that is on its axis is almost the same 27.3 days revolution 29.5 days rotation so it's almost the same revolution and rotation it's almost like you know 30 days if we say roughly 30 days um, and uh, yes so that's pretty much it you are clear with the rotation of the moon and revolution of the moon so that's all and uh, let's see what you've learned a little recap you've learned about the atmosphere of the moon right um, there is no atmosphere on the moon and because of it there is no life on moon there is uh, no wind on the moon too so dust uh, on the moon does not you know um, you know is not blown by the wind it remains over there uh, then you learned that sunlight does not get scattered on the moon, right? The um, sky, if you can say, is dark, right? On the moon, even during the daytime, you learned about the temperature. There is a very uh, high difference between the day and night temperatures on the moon, right? 100 degrees almost during the daytime, 173 minus 173 degrees Celsius. That is really, really cold at night. And then you learned that there is no sound. Uh, on the moon because sound waves do not travel on the moon you learned about the rotation it takes 29.5 days to complete one rotation that is uh, on its axis right movement on its axis and it takes 27.3 days to complete one revolution that is the movement around the earth um, you also learned about the gravity the gravity is six times lesser as compared with earth so you're going to be able to jump six times higher on the moon and you will feel six times lighter too. That's all. So this is uh, where lesson one ends. There is a worksheet that uh, you'll be uh, given on Facebook page. Um, please take out a printout of that and solve it and uh, happy solving. Okay, that's all. Goodbye.